Good morning, everyone. Uh, I have two knives today to show everybody. Uh, hanging around my neck. There's one of them. This is a uh, neck knife. Okay. This one, as you can see, has a snap. It goes right through the hole in the knife here. Knife handle. Now, I got to say this up front here. This is not my design. Okay. This is... This is based on some other manufacturer out there that is making one similar to this. Uh, I had a custom order from a gentleman that wanted these. He wanted to have me make them. Uh, my knives are forged and they do have a little different look. You know, I leave the forging marks on and I use my type of wood. This is, uh, this is reclaimed uh, Vermont barn wood. Actually, you've seen me use this in some of the other knives that I have. And, uh, anyway, uh, these, uh, these are handy little knives. You put your finger through there, right there. I'm, I'm not a big fan of, of having a hole in a knife. Okay. Uh, I can see, I can see where it would be convenient. You know, it certainly, it certainly holds pretty good in your hand. Um, but in a bad situation, if you're using it as a defensive type thing, you've got your finger stuck in there. And if something ever happens, goes the wrong way you're breaking your finger and so anyway just something to think about this it can be held you know upside down as well for cutting it's um it's just a nice nice little knife uh these these sheaths are um what i typically do you know the double stitching and all of the all the saddle makers rivets on the back um uh, i can see where this may be just a little bit of a fussy thing to get that strap in there to put it back in but I guess you can get used to it it's uh it's not that big of a deal it kind of kind of hangs nice you know now that's uh that one like I said was the uh, Vermont barn wood that I have now this one this is my favorite one because it's got the tiger maple on it you know and uh I don't know boy that was some nice nice couple of pieces I had there that I put that on but uh same knife same same thing and um there's that one right there yeah that's that's pretty cool i like that one so uh again this this isn't my my particular pattern uh, i have changed it up a little bit uh, i don't typically like to go out there and and make knives from other makers out there just to copy them uh, that wasn't my intent but um I may be using this type of style in other knives that I'm working on or make up a few of these just uh, just to have. Um, like I say, oh, and one other thing too that I, that I didn't mention. Uh, these knives, as well as most of my other ones too, unless it's requested otherwise, uh, these are acid, acid etched, okay? I use a special kind of uh, acid to, to turn that steel gray and then I have a couple other method, methods, too, that I use, and uh, it darkens the steel. It also gives it a little bit of prevention to um, for rust. Uh, of course, it is carbon steel, so just like all my knives come with care instructions and how to um, prevent rust, you know, keeping them oiled, uh, especially dry after, after you use them. Okay, so well, they fit right back in there snaps down on there i use heavy duty snaps because you don't want this thing coming coming off when you're walking around in the woods or something like that and uh i don't know kind of a nice little knife so i guess that's about it for today uh, i got a lot a lot more knives coming so uh please uh, like and subscribe to my channel here if, if you would and um stay tuned for new ones uh, all my information is uh, on my website if you're interested in anything, please join join the waitlist. Okay, that's the best way to find out when I have a new one or two, which doesn't happen too often, once or twice a month, uh, and I have available for sale. So, anyway, thanks again, and uh, have a good day. We'll catch you the next time. Next video. Okay.